study finds domestic and Russian seafood contains radioactive material. Members of the civic group include the Citizens for Radiation Monitoring Center and the Women's Environmental Solidarity. They hold a protest in front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul, Jungo District, calling on the South Korean government to halt imports of Japanese seafood from the waters where they're contaminated with radiation after the 2011 what the Fushima nuclear crisis. It was recently reported that water from the accident had been leaking into the Pacific Ocean. Leaking? It's like a sieve. Can't call it a leak. A river runs underneath Fukushima. The highest rates of CCM-137 were detected in Russian cod. Radioactive material was discovered at detectable levels of domestic and Russian seafood products that a recent study confirmed. The news comes amid growing concerns about radiation contamination in seafood products entering the country since the 2011 disaster at Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant. In response, environmental groups are calling for more intensive inspections of seafood for radioactivity. The findings were announced on December 23rd after a study of three groups. Analysis of 150 samples of mackerel, pollock, cod, and kelp and sea musk are taken from discount stores and markets in Seoul. They showed the presence of radioactive cesium-137 in eight of them, or about 5.3%. And they're much more careful over there in Korea compared to their counterparts in Japan. Cesium-137 is considered one of the chief examples of radioactive isotopes detected in the process of artificial nuclear fission, with an acceptable standard of 100 becquerels per kilogram. So it's 100 becquerels per kilogram in, in Korea and Japan. And it's 1,200 becquerels in the United States. So it's 100 becquerels per kilogram in, in Korea and Japan. And it's 1,200 becquerels in the United States that in mind. The isotope was found in samples of pollock and cod from Russia domestic mackerel and kelp at levels of 0.37. The highest rate of detection was for Russian cod at 13%, followed by Russian pollock at 11.5%, Korean kelp at 7.7%, and Korean mackerel at 3.3%. I'm not a fish guru, but I'm just wondering if the pollock and the cods, maybe they're, they're at a lower depth in the ocean. So, maybe somebody can clarify. The radioactive material detection rate for Russian products was quite high. We need greater monitoring and more stringent standards, said IECDS researcher at Min Inuju. We also need to figure out the cause behind the radioactive material detected in Korean seagrasses and take appropriate steps, Min added. Min also waited on the South Korean government's current plan to consider lifting import bans on seafood from eight Japanese prefectures. If that happens, there will be no way to stop the import of seafood contaminated with radioactivity. We should be beefing up on our standards, not loosening them. And we should be responding forcefully to the Japanese government complaint with the World Trade Organization, she said. So, the World Trade Organization is backing Japan to sell Fukushima fish to the world. CS-137 has a half-life of over 30 years. So take that 30 years times 10. And then it'll go to minimal levels. So in about 300 years, that cesium in your body will probably kill about 10 more people throughout life. What's left of it is known to cause radiation exposure within the body as it accumulates in the muscles and the fat. The details of cesium and its effects on the human body from exposure through accumulation of small amounts remain unknown. Remain unknown. The heart attack victim.